All right, what up, YouTube? Haiti here, bringing you guys another commentary, and I've got my full game review of Madden NFL 12. I got the game today, put a few hours in the game already, and I've already got basically my full opinion on the game. I basically mess with everything you can mess with in Madden 12, and I've got a few hours under my belt, and I think I've played it enough just to give you guys my review of the game. But anyways, guys, I want you to know that I just made a new Xbox Live account. It's my new primary account. It's entitled Hey does H A Y D U H Z instead of Hey da, which was H A Y D U H. But I've made a brand new primary Xbox Live account. It's got zero gamer score and everything. And I'm telling you guys because you guys can send me a friend request on that channel, and we can go ahead and play Madden online. Uh, maybe I'll record a game and post it on Machinima Sports. And I've also made a Twitter for the first time, and there will be a link in the description. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, the link will be in the description. And if you guys want to play some Madden 12 online or Call of Duty or any other game that you might play, uh, just send me a friend request or a message on Xbox Live. But anyways, the first thing that I noticed about Madden 12 is the all-new collision system. And I didn't really notice it in the demo. I didn't really think about it. And then when I, you know, when the Madden 12 kept reminding me that they had a new collision system when I first play Madden 12 I noticed it right away and I'm like wow they really have changed this game a bit and they also said that they made advanced defensive AI enhancements I really didn't notice that it's still the same AI to me whenever the QB's throwing the ball towards the receiver I always take control of the cornerback because I want to make sure I get the interception because when I let the CPU try to handle its business the CPU player will have the ball in their hands and all of a sudden drop it I guess the defensive CPU is still kind of stupid um, I don't really see how they improved it. Maybe they did. Maybe I'm the only loser to realize that maybe it's online lag or something. Let me know, guys, if you guys noticed any defensive CPU AI enhancements uh, in the comment section below. So I really didn't notice their new defensive AI enhancement feature. But what I did notice is the amount of features and updates and all this cool stuff they added to the franchise mode. Uh, apparently, they've added hundreds of features. I obviously wasn't able to go through the hundreds they added. But I did notice a few things right away, like the franchise mode dynamic player performance when I first started playing a few games I know some players were playing inconsistently or differently one game they'd be really beast and the next game they wouldn't so I was kind of looking that up came across this the franchise mode dynamic player performance they did it to create an unpredictable feeling in franchise mode and basically what it does is each week every player's ratings will be different from the week before and the skill sets and the traits are different based on the player uh, who he is, if the guy's inconsistent, he's going to have inconsistent games on a consistent basis. The example that EA gave was in one game you might have Michael Vick at a 90 overall and then the next week you might have Michael Vick at a 70 overall just because let's just say Michael Vick was inconsistent, that's how he would be played out if he was an inconsistent player on Madden 12. I personally noticed it right away with Chad Henney. Uh, the Miami Dolphins starting quarterback this year and I'm a Dolphin fan uh, so I've watched Chad Henney for a while and I kind of knew this about him he shows flashes of greatness and then other times he doesn't so the first game I was being a straight up boss with Chad Henney and the next week uh, wasn't really looking that good so um, it's pretty cool that they've added that feature it brings a whole unpredictable feeling to the game it's a smart add-on to fr uh, franchise mode and it's something that I actually enjoyed. In NBA 2K11's franchise mode, you might notice they have player roles, uh, roster additions. They, they added all that uh, small stuff to Madden 12. So they were all good add-ons and something that the game needed. But I think the, the dynamic player performance was a great idea and a, and a great add-on to Madden 12. Another thing that you're going to notice in Madden 12 is the presentation is a whole hell of a lot better. The different camera angles, the kickoffs, and all that cool stuff. The game has a better presentation. The graphics are slightly better. Not a whole lot better, but they are better. A major downside that I noticed is the commentators still kind of suck. And it's the same stuff. It's the same repetition and commentary. And I know I was complaining in my demo review that there was no commentary. But man, these commentators are the same old thing and they're not that entertaining. That would be the one downside of Madden 12. And But overall, when you play Madden 12, you're going to have fun with the online communities. The major online improvements they've added is great. I think I would give this game a 8 out of 10 just because sometimes the actual gameplay of the game does feel a lot like some previous Madden games. Obviously, the previous Madden games were amazing, but there's a whole hell of a lot of things they could have added to the actual gameplay of the game. But it's alright, Madden 12 is an 8 out of 10. If you're a Madden fan, I would totally recommend this game. If you buy Madden every other year, uh, this might be the Madden to pass up, maybe not. But anyways guys, I will be playing Madden 12. If you guys want to hit me up, remember, I'm on 
Xbox Live. I got a brand new gamer tag, brand new primary account. Message me on there, or you can follow me on Twitter. My link is in the description. But anyways, guys, Madden 12, enjoy. Hate it here, signing out.